Hey everybody, welcome to a trailer review. Today we are talking about Wonder Woman 1984. This trailer just came out at the CCXP 2019 or whatever you call it. Some expo where they're going to release a bunch of trailers and stuff. Uh, this one was just released a few days ago. Felt a little bit under the weather so I didn't get a chance to do a video right away. But here are my thoughts on the trailer. I'll try and keep it brief. So first off, I was super excited about this trailer mainly because I really liked the first Wonder Woman movie. Uh, it was really good. Uh, Gal Gadot does an amazing job. Did it have its faults? Yeah, sure, but it very much fell in line with the Captain America the First Avenger where I liked it a lot, but it wasn't as well received as I thought it was going to be. I don't know if it was the setting, I don't know if it was like the storyline, some of the visual effects were a little bit not all the way there with Steppenwolf, or sorry, not Steppenwolf, that was Justice League, uh, with uh, Ares, I'm sorry, uh, was the villain of Wonder Woman. Um, but overall, it was a really good movie. I liked it a lot. So I was really excited for Wonder Woman 2, aka Wonder Woman 1984, that we're getting now. Um, still directed by Patty Jenkins, still starring Gal Gadot. Uh, we get a return of Chris Pine as Steve Trevor, which how that's going to play in, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm still excited about it. And we get Pedro Pascal, super hyped about him. Chris and Wake, eh, I'm sort of just on the fence about. Alright, so let's go ahead and just skip on into the bullet points of what I liked and what I didn't like. So first of all, what I liked, I love the 80s vibe. I love anything 80s. It's just super fun, super... Retro, I just love it. I've always loved the 80s. Uh, going back to watching obsessively the VH1 show, I love the 80s. Even though I grew up in the 90s, I absolutely loved and adored that show and everything about the 80s. So I'm really hyped about that. And going back to Chris Pine that I said a second ago, I'm super excited that he's back. Again, I have no idea how he's going to be back as Steve Trevor coming back in the 1984 after his death in the war. But hopefully it all makes sense and I'm sure it will make sense in the storyline. I don't know if it has to do with Pedro Pascal's character or what exactly is going on there, but I'm just really excited to see him back as I feel like Gal Gadot and Chris Pine have a really unique and kind of good chemistry on screen as Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor. Now that unfortunately kind of ends my positives for this movie trailer. Now I feel like there were a lot of negatives. I'm going to say a lot of negatives. I'm still very excited about the movie. I still want to see the movie, but there's just certain aspects that I couldn't quite get over. First of all, uh, Kristen Wiig's character, she's going to be Cheetah. Now Cheetah's character is pretty much like a leopard cheetah full body, where we just sort of see her as a regular person. This leads a couple concerns for me. First of all, they're going to kind of go in a cat's direction, where it's just going to be a CG face and just a full cat body, or they're going to go with like a cheetah print, like unitard situation going on, and that's just really not going to look that great. So how they're really going to transform her into her current character, her human normal character into cheetah, I don't really know, but hopefully they can pull it off. That's a big concern for me. Problem number two with this trailer, it looks like the only thing Diana has been doing since her time in the war and sort of in her hiding time uh, that she's not really out about as full Wonder Woman, which kind of contradicts what she says like in Justice League, I think, when she's like, I've been in hiding for forever, where she's pretty much going out as Wonder Woman all the time. Not all the time, but pretty regularly to stop various crimes, things like that. And you would have thought that Bruce Wayne would have known about that based on their conversation in Justice League, that he would have been aware of her earlier and not known about her sort of secret past in World War II or I, whatever. It just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense there. But, the whole, but going back, the whole part about her stopping a heist or something like that, it looks like she not only stopped some kind of a heist, but maybe possibly another bank robbery. It kind of feels like she's only one note superhero. Like she doesn't really do much beyond stop heists and robberies because she did that in a previous movie. Uh, she did that in Justice League. And then she also kind of did that slide move and a couple other things in her original Wonder Woman. So how they're going to kind of play with that, I don't know. It's kind of a concern. I just want her to be able to be a bigger superhero. Not so much ground level because... Why would you have a god doing just ground level superhero work? And speaking of gods and powers, uh, she uses her lasso to essentially Spider-Man swing her way on lightning across uh, space. I don't even know where she is, but she uses her light her uh, lasso, sorry, to like hook onto lightning and swing very much like Spider-Man type of style swinging, but on lightning, which made complete no sense to me. I did not like that at all. I really wish that that wasn't included just because if they would have left it in the movie, I would have been like, that was dumb. But now I know that it's going to be coming and I'm just really not looking forward to it. It just looks so stupid and a power that she has never had to my knowledge. 
And then finally, another thing that I didn't really like was um, the sort of gold armor that she was wearing at the end. How that puts into play, it's on the posters on some of them, but how that comes into play, I'm guessing it has to be some Themyscaran uh, armor that she has to use because just her regular armor just won't cut it. Something along those lines or the bad is just so bad that she needs it. I don't really understand. I'm not a big fan of the look of it. I don't know if it's the helmet, the wings. It just kind of looks off to me. But actually, now that I just remembered, I have another positive. Um, going back to the mascara. So they have some kind of like games it looks like they're going through. And I'm a big fan of like mini games or like a tournament within a movie. So if, they, if we get a little bit of that, then I'd be excited about that. Um, but I think I kind of want to end this on a positive. I know it sounds like a lot of negatives for this movie, um, but I'm still really excited to see it. I'm really excited to see Gal Gadot come back. Same thing with Steve, uh, Chris Pine and Steve Trevor. I just want it to be good. Uh, DC's had a bad, a bit of a bad track record, but they've kind of picked it up a little bit again with Shazam and with Aquaman. Uh, Wonder Woman was another highlight, but that was pre-Justice League. But yeah, I just hope that this is a good movie. I just want to see these characters in really good movies. Um... They went a little bit too Ragnarok with the trailer, but, I mean, Ragnarok was super popular, so you kind of got to ride that wave a tiny bit. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on the Wonder Woman 1984 trailer. Uh, other than that, that's really all I have for now. Make sure if you uh, have seen the trailer, you leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. Other than that, that's really all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.